Hi! I just recently did a video on my Hermes Evelyn and what fits in it and what I put in it and all the stuff that's in my bag. And I got several questions regarding how this bag compares to my Duomo uh, crossbody and how it also compares to my Pochette Mati, both by Louis Vuitton. So I thought I'd quickly try to, instead of doing two separate videos, just show right off the bat in, you know, in one, how they compare. So what I thought I would do, this is the bag that I have been using uh, nonstop for the last couple weeks, which is really amazing for me because I change my bag out all the time, depending on my mood, the weather, what I'm wearing, etc. But this has just been so, so wonderful. And I have no idea even what's in there right now. It could be just shoved full of receipts and weird things. But I will try to, I will attempt to put everything in here first off in my Duomo and see if it all fits and then I will take the same amount of stuff and see how I can get it into the uh, pochette Matisse so let's do that let's see how that works first off this is the Duomo by Louis Vuitton I love this bag I've loved it for a very very long time I find that I'm not reaching for it as much as I used to just because I have new bags to play with <laughs> but it is still in amazing, amazing condition and loving every second of it when I do use it. Um, here's the interior. You can even see, with the, let's see how the lights are. It has two pockets in the back and one larger slip pocket here in this side. There's really not a front or a back. You can do this the same on each side, and it just depends upon where you want to put the little tassels. So I will, I will be looking at my monitor up here to see you know, if everything's in frame, but ah! But basically, just to give you an idea of what this whole deal looks like. So here are these two bags side by side. The Hermes Evelyn, Evelyn, whichever way you want to call it, and the Duomo. So this, the Duomo is a bit wider, not much, but a bit, bit a tiny bit wider. It's hard to tell because the straps are... Um, maybe that helps. Very similar in height. It is deeper though. It's got more space because of the triangular bottom. So you're dealing with a very similar size bag here. So I believe everything in here will fit in here. Let's just give it a go. Okay. I have gloves. I'm going to put those on top at the end. My biggest piece I have in the Evelyn bag is this toiletry 19 by Louis Vuitton. Let's put that right down in there first. Perfect. And then I also have this bag which carried my um, camera, my vlogging camera in it the other day and now it's empty but it was in there so let's put it in there too. My uh, Victorine wallet. This is how, and it's not terribly packed but it is, you know, I've got it filled. And someone else was asking, thinking that it looked triangular or whatever, but I don't really understand. I mean, it does, it does lay like a flat, normal, compact wallet. So anyway, there's that. Putting that down inside. I have something, a piece of paper. Oh, a receipt from my dermatologist. Let's put that in too. <laughs> my sunglasses in the case, uh, which is a Louis Vuitton sunglasses case. Let's put that in. I have another extra little um, card thing that I keep loyalty cards and um, gift cards, things like that in here. I don't always carry that with me, but since I have it in this bag right now, I will put that in there. My post office keys in my little um, key pouch by Louis Vuitton, put that in there. I have a hair clip and some hair ties, which I kind of always carry with me, usually they're in that the toiletry, so I'll put it back in there. It must have fallen out. And my uh, key pouch in the Empreinte Leather by Louis Vuitton that I keep my um, car keys, key fob thing in. So let's put that back in here. Okay. Now, usually the only thing I have back here in this flap of the Evelyn bag is my phone. That always just slides right back in there. So let's add my phone also to the Duomo. Now, I did have my gloves in that bag too, so I will put my gloves on top. Everything fits beautifully in the Duomo. There's extra space. I could add a scarf and still zip it. Um, 
very good size bag. This bag is deceivingly large. It doesn't feel large on the body and it doesn't look large, but it fits an amazing amount of stuff. And I have other videos about that too. As you can see, there's more room around the edges for more um, items. I could probably even put a bottle of water in here. Yes, ma'am. There we go, and the gloves. So, this bag is bigger than you think. So yes, all of that did fit from the Hermes Evelyn Evelyn PM into the Duomo crossbody, including a bottle of water, which I did not have in that one. So, there's that. Now, let's set this bag aside and put everything, or try, <laughs> it's not gonna work, I'll tell you right now, everything from the Duomo and what we can fit into the Pichette Matisse. As you can see, these are, some, it is smaller. If there's no comparison in that respect, but I did have several people ask, so I'm thinking that you need to see this to see that it's really not a similar size bag. They are both crossbody, but this one is smaller, um, and it has the different compartments and so forth, which makes it a little less able to throw a whole bunch of things in, but it does make it very organized. I love this bag. So let's give this a try. Shall we? Gloves, I'm just setting them outside for now. All right, this is the in interior. This is the original, by the way. Um, it's the one that has this uh, leather pull tab. An amazing shape still, I love this bag. So we have these compartments. The original one has this extra slip here, this back compartment, and then these two compartments. So there's that, okay. Now, what shall we, I don't even think that the 19 fits in there. If it does, it would take up an entire section, which that's kind of no point, but it does fit. So if you just want to quickly throw your things in, let's just go with it. Okay, you're quickly going from one bag to the other, let's say. This wallet's gonna take up a lot of space, but let's try. Okay, put it right there. I need my car keys, so I'd have to slip that right next to my wallet. Now, here's where we're gonna have to get picky. Okay, my phone is definitely going to go in this back pocket here, which is where I always keep my phone when I use this bag. And this is an eight plus, and it fits beautifully. So phone inside. Now let's see what we have left here. We're getting tight. Um, a little bit of the, I have two compartments back here, but it'd be very thin items that would have to fit. Okay, I'm gonna try. I think I might be able to do this. These are both very thin, so I will shove these back there, see how that goes. And this one might fit here. Oh boy, oh dear. Well, we're going for it, my friends. There was this pouch, still it's just empty, but let's see. <laughs> and we had my sunglasses with a sunglasses case, which is definitely not really going to do much of anything. Yeah, okay. Yeah, this is not going to work. <laughs> As you can see, it just does not fit the same amount that the Duomo or the uh, Hermes Evelyn fits. So definitely this would not work. What I'd have to do is maybe not take my extra, I probably need my PO box, not take my extra card case, take these out of the case, take this out because it's useless. Um, let's see if that works. Take these out of the case. Pop them somewhere gently on top here. And I believe that'll do it. Yes, that definitely works. And it's, you know, it's definitely as full as full gets. But that works. So what I did not put in it that did fit in this were the uh, my card case, my extra cards, my sunglasses case, no gloves, no water bottle, and no empty pochette. Um, but still, I can live my life without that. But still, they don't fit, so <laughs> to give you the idea. These two bags compare very well. This one is obviously quite a bit less expensive, but it is also canvas. This is a uh, Clements leather and will probably wear in the long run much longer than this will. I don't know. I mean, I've worn this thing to pieces and it looks brand new still, but um, only time will tell on that one. But basically they fit very, very much the same things. Um, 
this one would not. This compares more to, gosh, even a, like a Gucci Disco is smaller than this bag. That wouldn't be a good comparison. Um, hmm. Maybe this compares more to a Speedy 25, possibly. That makes sense. And it does, like I say, it does, it does connect. So, what I also wanted to show you is, okay, the bottle of water would never fit in here. It just isn't going to, that's all there is to it, but it would fit in both, as you saw the Duomo, and it does fit in the Evelyn also. So a bottle, bottle of water does fit. Uh, a Kindle, a regular sized Kindle, does fit in all of them. It would slide down into one of these pockets for sure. And of course would fit in those too. So that's really it. Um, are there any other questions? I'd be happy to answer them for you. But basically I would say that those two, the Duomo and the Evelyn, compare size-wise to each other very, very well. It's a matter of preference and cost on that one. And the Pochette Mati, as lovely as it is, really isn't going to compare size-wise to these other two. It just isn't, it isn't gonna work. So, anyway, I thank you so much for watching. As always, I am going to be packing for Florida. You will have some videos coming up um, once I've gotten those, <laughs> gotten back from Florida and gotten those up. So those will be happening. And I have a few others to share with you while I'm there. So keep in touch. Follow me on Instagram if you don't already, because I will definitely be snapping pictures here and there of palm trees and whatever else I can see, because I'm so excited to have some warm breezes. And um, I always show weird things on my Instagram of what I'm doing that day. So if you're interested at all, that's a great way to find out what I'm up to. And also, if you haven't subscribed and you think you might like to, go right ahead and do that. If you click on that little bell next to where it says subscribe, uh, you'll get notified anytime I have a video up. If you wanna do that, I'd be happy to have you do that too. And of course, as always, I never ask for these things, but if you ever do find that you really like a video, please give me a thumbs up, because that really does help me. And YouTube's getting extremely picky with um, advertising and you know uh, all sorts of things and they're just really cutting down on smaller likes and things so I just want to make sure that if you are enjoying this channel that I can continue um, bringing it here for you so anyway thank you so so much and I will see you guys real real soon bye